In the next example, we're going to consider a uh, hypothetical situation where uh, a candidate for a driver's license has only a limited number of tries to pass the driving test. In some states, that's, uh, that's the rule. And if the candidate doesn't pass on the third try, let's say, then that candidate has to uh, go back to driving school or something. Okay, so after a certain number of uh, candidates have gone through, it's found that 60% uh, of the candidates passed the first time, 75% passed the second time, and 30% passed the third time. And we would like to know, first of all, what the probability is that a candidate fails the first time and then passes the second time. Okay, so uh, to do this problem I'm going to use a different technique. I'm going to use the uh, tree diagram method. Uh, when you use a tree diagram on uh, conditional probability problems, what you're going to do is uh, at each branch you're going to write the conditional probability at that stage. And then to get the uh, total probability uh, we need to multiply all of the conditional probabilities along the way. Okay, and by the way uh, you should see uh, that the second and third numbers given here are conditional probabilities. Because this 75 percent is contingent on the uh, candidate failing the first time. Obviously the candidate is not going to take the driving test a second time if he or she passed the first time. And this number here is contingent on the uh, candidate failing the driving test twice. Okay, so here we go with our tree diagram. Okay, so we're going to take the driving test first time. First test. Two possibilities here. Candidate could pass, in which case we are done. or the candidate could fail. Okay, we know that uh, candidate's passing at 60% on the first try. And so what does that mean for this branch? What percent are going to fail? I can hear most of you out there saying 40%. That is right. If they don't pass, then they fail. Okay, so we move down our tree and we come to the next juncture which is the second test. Once again there are two possibilities. Candidate could pass and in that case the candidate is done or candidate could fail. Okay, and the, uh, we know that the candidates attempting the test for the second time pass at a 75 percent rate. And so that means that the candidates who fail take the test a second time and fail at a 25 percent rate. Okay, finally we come to the third test. And again, candidates could pass in which case they're done, or they could fail, in which case they have to go back to driving school. Go back.
Okay, and again, we can fill in the number here. 30%. And those who fail the third test, 70%. Okay, so our tree diagram is complete, and now we can answer the question. The question was, find the probability that the candidate fails the first time and passes the second time. Okay, so looking at our tree diagram, fail the first time is 40%, and then pass the second time is 75%. So 75% of 40%, that's 30%. Okay, now we have a second question here. It says, find the probability the candidate fails twice and then passes the third time. Okay, so fails twice, fails once is 40%. Fails a second time, 25%. And then passes the third time, that's 30%. We multiply these together. 25% of 40% is 10%. 10% of 30% is 3%.